Oof, I am tired with all this crypto FUD. KuCoin just announced that they are requiring mandatory KYC as of July 15th. We're gonna talk about what this means, what you need to do, and what you can expect. If you're brand new to the O Show, welcome back to everything crypto and NFTs every day. Like, subscribe, save this video, and share it. All right, now, KuCoin announced earlier this week that they are going to be requiring KYC. That's also known as know your, know your customer, know your consumer. It basically means that you have to put in all your personal information. One of the things we love about crypto is being semi-private, anonymous, right? Because we don't want people tracking what we're doing. But again, you still need to pay your crypto taxes. And I know you guys hate saying that, but guess what? It's not a game. Anyways, part of why they need to do this is to keep people safe, which I can get to an extent because let's face it, a lot of people do get hacked or SIM swapped and their crypto funds stolen. Those crypto funds generally go to a centralized exchange. So if you have KYC set into place, that could potentially help authorities catch the person that took your crypto, okay? Some people want this type of protection. Other people do not want this type of protection. So it kind of really depends your personal preference, okay? So what you need to do now is understand you need to KYC if you want to continue to use KuCoin, all right? Whether you agree with this or not, people will say, okay, just go use a VPN. Well, you can use a VPN, but you still have to KYC. That's how it works. And you should be using a VPN anyways because you want to keep yourself safe and your assets safe. It makes those bad guys a little bit harder to get at you. So next step is you do need to go read the terms of service, okay? The reason why you wanna read the terms of service is you wanna make sure the region you are in, you can still access KuCoin because some regions may not be covered and it's pointless for you to KYC and give up your personal information to trade, buy crypto assets if you're not even able to participate on that exchange due to the terms of services. And I'm not gonna read those to you because I don't know where all of you live, all right? So what happens next? If you do not KYC, after July 15th, you can use, lose your crypto funds. I don't think they'll allow you to remove your funds off of the exchanges. That happened to me with another crypto exchange that's still run, up and running. I forgot to KYC between a certain date um, and remove my funds. So I forgot to remove my funds. That was my responsibility. So you're gonna need to remove your funds and learn how to use cold storage. And you shouldn't just move them to another centralized exchange because not your keys, not your coins. So what can we expect from this KuCoin debacle? Because a lot of people love to trade there. Well, you can start looking to other DEXs. Um, Syscoin is gonna be launching a DEX, Squid Grow has a DEX. Um, there's a lot of other ones like Uniswap and One Inch, et cetera, but you do have to do your due diligence with that. Best place to do your due diligence, you can head over to, um, um, to CoinMarketCap or to CoinGecko. They have a list of exchanges and you can go ahead and begin to research there what decentralized exchange works best for you because it kind of depends what you're trading. Also too, I think that there's an opportunity for us to make a lot of money in this next cycle. I think the next bull run could potentially be the last bull run because of all the TradFi and the predatory regulations coming into place. And it's gonna be on DEXs, it's gonna be with DeFi. So I highly recommend you start getting educated on that, well-versed. Um, do some good OPSEC practices, and as always, do your own research when it comes to a lot of this stuff, okay? There's gonna be a lot of fun to be had. I think we'll be all be able to make a lot of money as ethically as possible, but at the same time, you need to educate yourself and stay ready. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you later. Bye-bye.